Who is the Jewish Messiah? What does the Hebrew Scriptures say about him? They tell us that he is a king, a prophet, a redeemer, a savior, and much more. In this video, I'm going to show you the prophecies in the Hebrew Scriptures that tell us the Messiah is the suffering servant of God. Psalm 22 Psalm 22 verses 1 to 2 My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, from the words of my groaning? O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Psalm 22 verses 3 to 5 Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our ancestors trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried, and were saved, in you they trusted, and were not put to shame. Psalm 22 verses 6 to 8 But I am a worm, and not human, scorned by others, and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me, they make mouths at me, they shake their heads, commit your cause to the Lord, let him deliver, let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Psalm 22 verses 12 to 13 Many bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me, they open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. Psalm 22 verses 14 to 15 I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint, my heart is like wax, it is melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws, you lay me in the dust of death. Psalm 22 verses 16 to 18 For dogs are all around me, a company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled, I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me, they divide my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. Psalm 22 verses 22 to 26 I will tell of your name to my brothers and sisters, in the midst of the congregation I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise Him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify Him, stand in awe of Him, all you offspring of Israel. For he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the afflicted, he did not hide his face from me, but heard when I cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation, my vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied, those who seek him shall praise the Lord. Psalm 22 verses 27 to 28 All the ends of the earth shall remember, and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. Psalm 22 verses 29 to 31 To him, indeed, shall all who sleep in the earth bow down, before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, and I shall live for him. Posterity will serve him, future generations will be told about the Lord, and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. The Suffering Servant in the Book of Isaiah Isaiah 42 verses 1 to 4 Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights, I have put my spirit upon him, he will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice, or make it heard in the street, a bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench, he will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Isaiah 49 verses 5 to 7 And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, 
and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the survivors of Israel, I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and His Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers. Kings shall see and stand up, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves, because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Isaiah 50 verses 4 to 9 The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious, I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard, I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced, therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame, he who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me, who will declare me guilty. All of them will wear out like a garment, the moth will eat them up. Isaiah 52 verses 13 to 15 See, my servant shall prosper, he shall be exalted and lifted up, and shall be very high. Just as there were many who were astonished at him, so marred was his appearance, beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of mortals, so he shall startle many nations, kings shall shut their mouths because of him, for that which had not been told them they shall see, and that which they had not heard they shall contemplate. Isaiah 53 Isaiah 53 verses 2 to 3 For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground, he had no form or majesty that we should look at him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity, and as one from whom others hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him of no account. Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 6 Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities, upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53 verse 7 He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth, like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. Isaiah 53 verses 8 to 9 By a perversion of justice he was taken away. Who could have imagined his future? For he was cut off from the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. They made his grave with the wicked, and his tomb with the rich, although he had done no violence, and there was no deceit in his mouth. Isaiah 53 verses 10 to 11 Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him with pain. When you make his life an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring, and shall prolong his days, through him the will of the Lord shall prosper. Out of his anguish he shall see light, he shall find satisfaction through his knowledge. The righteous one, my servant, shall make many righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Isaiah 53 verse 12 Therefore I will allot him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out himself to death, 
and was numbered with the transgressors, yet he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors.